for Smarter Kids. I'm Lauren, and this is my friend, Buddy. We're going to spend some time learning some very important lessons to help you stay safe. I'll be practicing these lessons with Buddy, and you can practice them with your friends. Today, we are going to learn about rules. Rules are so important because they keep us safe. Think about a rule like stopping at a red light. That rule keeps us safe on the road. Can you think of other rules that help keep us safe? Well, then let's close our eyes and think about how you got to school today. Whether it was with your mom or your dad, your grandma, your grandpa, or even on the bus. What tells the driver to stop driving? That's right, a stop sign. That's a rule of the road, buddy. Do you know what rules of the road are for? They keep us safe. Good job, rules of the road keep us safe. We also have rules at home that keep us safe, like not leaving the house without one of your parents. Adults like that who keep us safe are called grown up buddies. They're people that we trust to go places with and that we share all of our thoughts and feelings with. Grown-up buddies can be moms, dads, grandmas, grandpas, aunts, uncles, or even our teachers. It's important to always be with a grown-up buddy wherever you go because they are people that you can go to when you need help. They keep us safe. Just like a stop sign helps you to keep safe on the road, there's a special stop sign that you can use to help you stay safe in any situation. The safety stop sign. This is one of my favorite safety tools of all time. The safety stop sign is used when a situation makes you feel scared, confused, or icky. No matter where you are or what you're doing, you always have your safety stop sign with you. All you have to do when you feel unsafe is pull it out and say, stop, that's not safe. Right. Hey, everybody, try it with me. Ready? Stop, stop. That's, that's not, not safe. safe. <laughs> Great job! You can use your special safety stop sign in any situation that doesn't feel quite right. Just make sure you take five seconds to listen to that little voice inside that helps you decide if the situation is safe or unsafe. Good question, buddy. That little voice inside is called a guiding voice and we all have one. It's inside of us. It's that little voice that helps you to decide what to do when a situation makes you feel confused, icky, or not quite right. You should always listen to your guiding voice and tell a grown-up buddy if you're feeling those feelings and that you need help to decide what to do. Okay, what do we do if something or someone is making us feel unsafe. There's an important tool that we all need to learn how to use. It's called our I Mean Business Voice. <laughs> Buddy, that's a megaphone. It's a lot like an I Mean Business Voice because it's loud. 
But you don't need a megaphone to use your I mean business voice. Everyone has one inside of them. When you use your safety stop sign, you also use your I mean business voice. The safety stop sign says, stop, that's not safe. Your I mean business voice makes people pay attention to what you have to say. Your I mean business voice comes from a place deep down inside of you. It isn't a little squeaky voice. It's loud and strong and powerful. We all have one, whether you're young or old, big or little. Buddy, can you try your I mean business voice? <laughs> no, that doesn't sound very serious. If there's a safety situation, you have to let people know that you mean business. Buddy, how about you try that again? <laughs> that was a great job, buddy. That's exactly what you have to say. Stop. That's not safe. Now it's your turn to practice with Buddy. Stop! That's not safe! Wow! Those were some great, I mean business voices. Let's say we're at a birthday party in the park and your friend wants you to leave the group and go on a secret adventure away from your grown-up Buddy. What should you do, Buddy? <laughs> Use your safety stop sign. That's exactly right. Hold out your safety stop sign and say, stop, that's not safe to your friends. Why? Because that is not a safe choice. You would use your I mean business voice. Buddy, now that we've practiced using your safety stop sign, how do you know if a situation is safe or unsafe? Oh, wow. Well, it depends on how it makes you feel. You should listen to the guiding voice inside of you that tells you to slow down and be careful. So what do we do if our guiding voice tells us that something is wrong? <laughs> Use your I mean business voice. Wowee! You guys are quick learners. You say, stop, that's not safe in your I mean business voice. And then, what do you do? Tell your grown-up buddy. Right, you tell a grown-up buddy so you can get help. You all did such a great job today, learning to use your safety stop sign. So you have earned your safety stop sign badge. And now that you know how to use your I mean business voice, whenever a situation makes you feel unsafe, you've also earned your I mean business voice badge too. These tokens will help you remember to use your safety stop sign and your I mean business voice in any situation that makes you feel unsafe. Until next time, remember, make safer, smarter choices. See you soon. Bye. Bye.